the chimney rock uh, in the city of Houston. It was HPD. That would be World Affairs. Apparently tried to pull the gun. Uh, no, today I want to talk about these uh, high-speed chases that happen all around the country. Uh, I've seen a few, and uh, you know, and I used to drive a cab, so you know, I'm I'm on the road a lot and stuff. Used to be a roadie. For... So anyway, uh, there's one really easy solution to to these high-speed chases, which are actually pretty ridiculous because uh, you know. The cops can get hurt, the perp can get hurt, uh, you know, uh, the public can get hurt, and you know, when all that happens, you know, uh, a lot of people make money, the courts, the overtime, and insurance, whatever, lawyers, everybody makes money on that deal, you know, when somebody gets hurt in a hype speed chase so here's my solution which will end these high speed chases forever they won't be any more high speed chases uh, if you you know follow my advice and that is uh, require uh, the manufacturers to build these freaking cars to go about 70 tops you know, because being that the national speed limit was 55, a car that's built to go 120 miles an hour is absolutely absurd. So if you don't want any high-speed chases like these with the police and everybody in danger, then you shouldn't be allowing cars to be built to go a thousand miles an hour down the road. You know, because that's what happens. Blame it on the manufacturer because they don't give a damn, you know. If they did, they would tune these cars down, you know. It's ridiculous to have a muscle car. So where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? How far are you going to drive? How, where are you going to... Give me a break, all right? Good night. Leave me alone.